All right, you guys, and with that, Artello is done. Hello, everybody. I am the Goofy Geek, and I am here with another episode of Building Giant Pokemon in Minecraft. Yes, that's right. Today, I decided to start with Taylo, as uh, I love Taylo, and I thought that he would be a, a fun Pokemon to make. Uh, he's not a particular farm or anything like that. He's just adorable. And uh, yeah, this is where I am starting today. Uh, I've actually been sick since Thanksgiving, so I haven't really been able to talk much at all in terms of my voice. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to hear me, so I decided instead to start things off with the time lapse. But yeah, we've got our Taylor here. He is mostly spawn proof. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are all kinds of mobs in the wings, but I'll fix that later. Right now, I've, we have Taylo, and Taylo's looking pretty good. I gotta stop saying pretty good. I keep saying pretty good for all of them. Now, Taylo is looking fantastic. So what are we working on today? Well, that's actually a good question because while Taylo is adorable and a lot of fun, and I love, I think I got the placement just right. I'm gonna take a moment here, actually. Let's take a look at this. Whee! That killed me earlier. <laughs> I think that that's just the right placement. I want to put another one over here. Not necessarily a Taylor, but just a Pokemon on this hill. I've yet to decide which one, though. But I think that that'd be a good spot for one, too. As, yeah, we're getting kind of, uh... Ow. We're getting kind of populated, you guys. We've got one, two, three, four. We got one over there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Cubone is eight. Blossom is nine. And, oh, Magikarp. We got Magikarp. Yeah, there he is. Magikarp. I wish I could see them all at once. But that will definitely never happen. Especially now that there's over a thousand Pokemon with the release of Scarlet and Violet. But yeah, Drifloon. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yes, we have 11 Pokemon out of the 1,000, which means... We are 1% done with this series. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of Pokemon. There's going to be a lot of episodes. And uh, I am very excited for it. So now I did ask in the last episode what people wanted to see me. Oh, gosh. That's... I'm telling you guys, that these guys, they are everywhere. Every episode, I think, has had a pillager raid kind of eyeing me up. And I don't want that to get full of monsters because no, that is that is my iron farm. So we're gonna run away in terror. Instead, we're gonna decide what Pokemon we're gonna build in that. Because I've got, like I said, I've got some space over here I wanna fill. Maybe just something small up here. Uh, I think I might actually put Kumi up here. Uh, just cause he'd be a little, a little a cute little thing. The plop right here. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a Gumi is, it's a small round Pokemon. That was violent. It's a small round Pokemon. That will end up being square when I end up making it. But I think that'll look kind of cute up here. And it won't be too big and mess with the mess with the balance. Actually, honestly, Gumi might be too small for up here. I don't know. We're going to find something and we're going to put it up here today, I think. I think that's going to be the good. Now, last time I did ask you guys what Pokemon I should make next. And someone said Magmar. And that they want me to put a lava farm in the Magmar. That is very tempting. But Magmar is kind of a tall Pokemon. And I feel like for a really good lava farm, you kind of want to go wide. So we might do that soon. We might build Magmar and a lava farm separately. Or maybe it'll be one in the same. Who knows? I certainly don't. But we'll eventually find out. Now let's go real quick and take a look at the iron farm. Because I'm pretty sure I need better storage. Because if I come over here. Oh, and I open this top one. Yeah. We're, we've almost built this. And I say that having done this, <laughs> this many iron blocks already, um, I almost have enough iron to rebuild this guy out of iron. Hey, I finally did it on camera. Uh, <laughs> I almost have enough iron to rebuild this guy out of iron, which means that business is good. Oh, yeah. I finally found, while I was building that, I lost this villager here. He just wandered all the way up here. And uh, I'm shocked he's alive. I think I actually found another one over here and buried him. But I definitely buried him in dirt and have genuinely no idea where he ended up. 
So, uh, yeah. Today, today we're not going to go too crazy with farms. Today, we're just going to build some Pokemon and play a little bit of catch up. Because if there's a thousand Pokemon that I have to build, I got to get moving. So, let's get moving. Hit it. So, uh, a lot has happened since the last time, uh, I recorded a clip. I've actually been kind of sick since the last time I, uh, talked to you guys, because I got sick around, oh gosh, Thanksgiving, and then I felt better and recorded the last clip that you guys saw, and then I got sick again. But now I think my voice is back, and as you guys saw, I've been kind of busy. You can see Taylor up there. And you can just see Rattata poking out of the corner there. I think I showed Taylo off earlier. I'm just going to do it again right now. Because I still think that he is a beautiful bird. That I think came out really good. He's a little big in hindsight. But it was the right size to get him to look good. Uh, what you haven't seen are Gumi and Rattata. So let's go take a look at them. I got to remember to remove that unused portal there. I think that Gumi came out really good. Uh, believe it or not, folks, that's a Dragon-type Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it either. Uh, let's see, we come around the back, you can see he's this cute little, cute little goose slug. And I think that, uh, he's adorable. He might not be the roundest that I could have made him. But I think he is just right for the scale and the size and everything. I love the, I think that that's the perfect purple. That's the best part, even though I'm using those, like, overly textured blocks. Yeah, you, you almost don't even notice. Speaking of texture, I think that Rattata came out fantastic. I mean, look at that. I mean, his nose is a little funny. I can't quite get it right. But uh, I think that he looks adorable. Uh, I went with the wool instead of the concrete on this one, just so he kind of has that mousy kind of texture to him. Uh, nothing going on inside any of these new guys. I just needed to build uh, some Pokemon because that is literally what this whole series is about and now we've got our Rattata here Ooh, I love the way his whiskers came out now, I know that there are two different ways that you could have a Rattata posed uh, kind of all in all fours like this oh I'm out of rockets 
Uh, so yeah, you can only pose uh, Rattata kind of on all fours like this. Or you can have... I love the way the whiskers came out. Or you can kind of have them standing up. And given that I think standing Rattata looks better... Look at that. Like, that's, oh, it looks so good. I think standing Rattata works better for the Alola form. So I'll save that for that. Also, I love the way that I did his teeth. Uh, oh, as I'm sure you just saw. I got... Because yeah, I always use the quartz for like a bone texture. I think combining that with the banners really makes it look like he has uh, two separate teeth there. But yeah, I think that he came out uh, really darn cute. And we're going to get eaten by Rattata. Yum, yum, yum. Speaking of eating, I am very tired of running out of salmon. Uh, because anytime I need salmon, you know what I do? I dive into this water. I take out this sword. I hit a couple squids just so I can have some ink. And then I go looking for cod. But literally, guys, the entire time I've been playing, I've been doing this to find food. And look at that. I'm not even finding fish this time. I think maybe they, they're there. For a second, I thought maybe they knew I was coming and had decided to hide. So since I'm tired of doing this for long periods of time... So I think it's time that we built ourselves a food farm. Now, where am I going to put it? Uh, I'm actually thinking over here. Because we've got Blossom standing here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a melon and pumpkin farm. As well as a villager trading area. Uh, it's going to be right in this area here. Uh, it's actually going to be one of the biggest Pokemon I've made yet. And I'm very excited for it. Uh, I have done some resource gathering, let me tell you. And in fact, everything that we need to build that Pokemon should actually be in these chests right here. And I say these chests are full of the materials I need. I literally mean they are full of the materials I need. Actually, you know, it's funny. I usually play this game at the end of the ep or in the middle of the episode when I say, hey, what am I going to build? Even though you guys have already seen it in the thumbnail. This time, I'm going to say, hey. Based on the materials that you guys have seen here, what Pokemon do you think I'm going to build for my melon and pumpkin farm? Because uh, this is all the materials here. It's literally jungle wood, smooth sandstone, moss blocks, uh, just some more smooth sandstone there, a little bit of concrete, a little bit of quartz, and of course some black concrete for the eyes. So... If you guys have an idea of what Pokemon I'm going to build using this right over here, I think that the foot or part of the feet. Oh, no, look at that. I gave you a clue. It has feet. Uh, it's going to be right near that block there, and it's going to be real big. So if you have an idea of what I'm going to build, take a guess. Drop a, uh, drop a comment down below so you guys can guess what I'm going to build. And while you're there, maybe like, oop, maybe subscribe. It would certainly be a lot of help. But yes, the next episode, is, yeah, I'm going to at least build the Pokemon, even if not the farms within. But uh, let's just do a quick tour. You can see there I've got Talo. I've got Rattata. And it's, he's not facing us because not every Pokemon can face the center. But uh, there is, of course, a Gumi. So with the three of them all built up, uh, that's where we're going to wrap things up here. Again, take a guess as to what I'm going to build. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!